Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Wansink. Welcome to the Cornell University Food and Brand Lab. Here we do studies that show why people eat and what they can do to really easily make small changes to eat better. Today we're looking at soup. How do you know when you're full? In one study we did, we asked 150 Parisians, how do you know when your dinner is over? The typical person said, I would know that my dinner is over when I feel full. Okay, when I no longer feel hungry. Other people said, when food no longer tastes good. We asked 150 Chicagoans the same question. They said, I know that I would be through eating dinner when my plate or bowl was empty, when everybody else was through eating, or when the TV show I was watching was over. We're wondering what happens if your plate never does empty. That's what we're looking at today. We're doing an experiment called the bottomless soup bowl. It's a recreation of something we did a couple years ago. And we're going to see if things have changed. Okay. Now, one of the things that we're doing, we're going to be inviting people in, in a few minutes for a soup dinner. Now, this looks like a normal table with normal soup bowls. If what happens today is the same stuff that happened in the past, we're going to find that the people sitting in this chair right here are going to end up eating about 73% more soup about twice as much. So here's how the bottom of soup bowl study works. Right here, we have a big soup vat. Right here, we end up having a bowl that's attached to the soup vat through a piece of food grade tubing that's fastened from the bottom of the bowl through a hole in the table up to this. Take a look at this. If you see, that's attached, tubes attached to the bottom of the bowl. Mm -hmm. This tubing goes from underneath the bowl over to the big pot of soup, up through a hole in the table, and here we are. Until this person eats six quarts of soup, it will never be full because it's been gravity fed from this big vat into this little bowl. <laughs> they could be here for three days, but until they eat six quarts of soup, they'll never see the bottom of that bowl. <laughs> One of the things that this ends up showing is that we eat with our eyes and not with our stomach. We've done this with other, over 160 people, and what we find time and time again is that People get so caught up with talking with their friend or watching television or doing whatever they're doing that they will continue to eat until we stop them. And when they finish, they'll be eating about 73% more than the person around away, uh, on the other side of them. But if we say, are you full? They'll say, no, I mean, how can I be full? I still have a bowl of soup left. That's the problem with eating with our eyes. One real easy solution to avoid eating with our eyes is to make sure that at least at some point we dish out exactly what we think we're going to eat and then we eat from that dish or that bowl. We don't eat out of a bottomless bag, we don't dish ice cream out of a bottomless um, ice cream container, but we dish it out, put it in our own plate or bowl, take that into the other room, sit down and eat that. That's one of the best ways to avoid eating with our eyes, not with our stomach.